Hey everyone, okay, uh, Coding Heaven here. Uh, now let's continue doing our, our, our uh, Pong game in Java with Eclipse. We weren't able to finish, but by the way, I I increased the size of the text. I got several requests of increasing the size, so I'll do that. I, well, I did that. Okay, so today in this episode, we're basically going to finish drawing the score, and then we're going to move on to collision tests. Basically, the update function that's supposed to be in, in, the, um, in both in both the uh, the paddle and the game class. Now, for drawing the score, it's gonna be it's gonna be a bit complicated because what I want to do is at at the center line, I want the scores to be at the exact same distance away from the center line, and the bigger they get, the further the, the further, like they stay at the position they are, and they keep on increasing without overlapping with the center line. So I'm gonna have to do I'm gonna have to manipulate with a few functions like string, uh, string width and stuff like that. So bear with me. So this is the string x. You want a variable string x, like the x position of the string. Uh, of course you want a you want a string. You want a string score text. You want you want the score to be in text. So this we're gonna use the integer parser to string, and then we're gonna put score. Remember that um, we have a variable called score, and we have a function called add point. Now we have that. We're going to create a font too to be able to um, to get the the width of the um, of the of the string. So we're going to create a font, new font. I decided to choose robotic uh, roboto roboto. I think that's what it. Is. So roboto to as the font uh, as the font, and then font dot plain, just regular text and size fifty. That seems to be good. Okay, now int string width. Now is the string is the width of the string. The way you do this is with the g component because of course you want to know the width of the string that's going to be drawn. So it's going to be drawn. So you want to know how width, how thick is it going to be after it's drawn. It's get font metrics font of course, and then get font metrics returns an object that we can use the class string width on in font metrics so, you, so we get a font metrics object and then we can see the string width and the string is called score sorry score text okay, perfect so um so that's that's for that's for most of the um you know let's add a bit of padding let's add just plus one just click the pad and let's actually make a variable in Padding. Uh, this is going to be the distance between the um, the center line and uh, each each score for the right and left character. Let's call. It, let's make it like 25, 25 pixels. And now, when deciding to draw them, we have to draw them according to which side is it. So if it's left, if left, sorry, if left, then we need to pick a value for px if it's at the left side it's it's first of all it's at the center of the screen and then you subtract the the padding and you subtract the padding means the distance between the center line and the text and also considering that the point the the, the point of a string is at is at the bottom left corner so we have to add the width of the string for it to be at a good position. So let's do that. Game dot width divided by two minus padding minus string width. That's it. Okay. Else now it's not on the left. It's much easier. It is the center plus the padding because the position of its of its, of a text in in graphics is the bottom left corner. P X equals. Oh, what is this? px equals game dot width game dot width divided by two and then plus padding. Now now let's actually draw. Maybe um let's, oh, oh sorry it's not px it's sx. Oops big mistake. New mistake for programming. Okay now let's actually draw it. So g dot you want to set the font first of course set font 
font and then end next as uh, gdub draw string I, ho I hope it's this is intuitive that you have to draw it to see it so draw string and then we're gonna use score text uh, this is this is the X this is the um, the X one so we're gonna write SX and the Y let's choose like 50 and let's see if that's good I don't know if um, let's let's test it out okay yeah 50 seems 50 seems pretty good let's put the console and stuff down here I don't want to see all this let's make this smaller okay so let's finish drawing the um, drawing the player the paddles and the, and the, the text okay done now let's go back into our game don't forget to control s everything uh what's wrong speed oh we'll be using speed and velocity right now actually so now let's now we need to we need the updates of course the update methods so in the update you want to do the collision tests and move the objects so we're going to come down here to my update function and of course we have the function update ball so we're gonna call it ball dot update and here's the thing we want to update but every time the ball touches a paddle we want to upgrade the score of the paddle so we're gonna have to give it both paddles paddle one paddle two you have to give it both paddles. And of course, this function does not exist, so let's create it. And nice enough, Eclipse does it for us. Okay, now let's do this. Now it's uh, the, the the paddle. It's it's pretty simple. The update for the ball. So um so of course x plus equals x velocity uh, x velocity times speed. Same exact thing for y plus equals y velocity uh, times wait, where is it? times times speed same exact thing Th this is well, let's structure it let's structure it this is the movement update movement okay that's the first thing update movement oh, oh, oh that's, that's in French okay update movement next thing we want to do is collisions okay what's up with collisions let's 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 do this collisions is a bit harder so if we if we want to know if let's start with the collision with the ceiling and the floor because don't th those don't add any points for for um for for the other team the other i mean the, for the pals the, don't do anything to the pals so let's do this if y plus the size of the of the palette is bigger or equal to the game dot height game dot height or if y is less if y is less than or equal to zero of course it makes sense next what do we do we change the y direction we flip the y direction so change y direction done that's it for the y now it's with walls okay so let's start with the walls the walls isn't is, it's kind of hard okay so um now and uh, no i mean it's not that hard it's only the the palettes that are a bit harder so if x plus size is bigger Sorry, is bigger or equal to game dot width means that it's at the right side means play, player one. Oh, sorry. Let's call them P one and P two. Forgot to do that. Player one dot add point. Easy enough. Now let's do the exact same thing for the other. Oh, we have to reset also. So let's add curly brackets. Let's add curly brackets. We we have to reset the ball too. So remember the reset function is um, is right here. So it brings the ball back to the center and it makes a random velo random velocities. Now let's do the same exact same thing for the left wall to give a point to the other team. So this is very simple. 
equals equal equals zero zero and um, uh, this is going to be player two dot add point and reset as easy as that and that is done I think that's yeah that's done for the ball class easy enough so um let's move let's move to the other the the, the paro class the paro class actually no let's do let's of course let's do it here so update does exist now let's run it to see if it, um everything's fine okay the paro moves i mean the ball moves sorry and uh, it seems to be the of the scores are working properly and it seems to be random enough i guess um well, I mean, I know the algorithm is random, but that's kind of weird. Okay, so it's pretty random. It's random. Now, update the paddles. What's up with the paddles? Let's do the paddles. The paddles is same exact process. Same exact process. You paddle one dot update. Paddle one dot update. Update. Now, in the update, I want to give it the ball. Because when I give it the ball, it's going to be able to test that if the ball had a collision with it. And when the ball... And we're able to test if we're able to test the ball the collision with it, that we can change the direction of the ball. And paddle one, paddle two dot update ball. Okay, easy enough. Let's do the update function now. Take this off. Call the ball B B because uh, because I don't I'm not gonna waste some time here. Okay. Now of course we need to update position now this is kind of weird we need to update on the position only if it's possible to update the position that, that is it's that's a condition only if it's possible to update the position only if you because at, at some point the, the player is going to be pressing the up arrow all the way until they reach the top of the of this of the canvas or the bottom of the canvas and then you have you can't let them anymore to, to you can't let them uh, move anymore. So we're going to have to create a function that ensures a range, a specific range. And uh, let's, let's create that function in game. This, this function, uh, this function is super simple actually. It's, re it's a function that you can just find actually just online. And it's really, it's really, really, really useful. So um, you get the minimum of between I mean the maximum of two values of two values we're gonna call them val min and here's gonna be sorry here's going to be max if you want an explanation of this function I would love to do it in a separate video it's just a bit long int min and int max sorry it's not value Val. Okay. Easy peasy. Let's go back to the paddle class now and let's hear what we want to update it if it's possible. Update to the position of the paddle. So it's gonna be y plus equals velocity. That's what that's what you want the um, that's what you want the y to be equal to, but you only want it to be equal to that if it's between zero and game uh, game dot height minus the paddle height that's the only cases you want it to be you want it to be okay these are the only values of y that i want to be possible now int int uh, ball x because we want we want to make ball x ball y but the thing is that we have to um, you have to create getters and setters ball dot get x and how about let's go create those getters and setters. If you don't know how to create a getter and setter, you can just do this. Um, what was it again? Uh, you can... Oh, I forgot how to do it. Uh, oh my god. Ah, there you go. I just remembered how to do it. So you open source, generate getters and setters for X and Y. And we only want to generate actually getters 
Screw the setters. Who cares about setters? Okay. Done. The getters, the getters are there. Now let's go back. Control S. Always Control S. Now, uh, ball is the B, not the ball. And then, um, int ball y equals y dot get y. Done, done, done. Okay, that's done. Oh, oh my god. It equals B dot get y. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, change to get y. Why, why, why get y? We did create it get x, right? Yeah, we did create it get x. What's up? B ball. Okay, anyways. Let's move on. Um, now the collisions. Collisions. With the ball. With the, the pallets. Between the pallets and the ball. Now, so if the paddle was a left paddle the collision is going to be completely different and there's also going to be the else condition indeed for if it wasn't a left paddle so now now we need to actually the actual um, the actual collision test so it's going to be if ball if the x of the ball x position of the ball is um, is less then or equal to the width of the pallet because that's going to be zero plus the width of the pallet so it's so it doesn't change much and wait, wait, how was the end oh and the ball y the ball y plus ball y plus ball dot plus plus b dot size remember size is a, is a no b b B dot size. Remember, size is is a public static constant. If that is bigger than or equal to y to the y of the of the palette, and ball y smaller than or equal to y plus height. And yeah, yeah, that's more. That's basically it. So that's the that's the collision test for the left palette. And what we're gonna do after this is we're gonna we're gonna change the direction of the ball. B dot uh, B dot change change which direction again? We're going to change the x direction because this is the the collision with the x okay now let's check the problems with get x and get y let's go back to ball let's control save ball okay now it works so so it looks like you have to save inside the class itself to for them to work for some reason so um this is not with the caps okay now let's do the collision test with the other one this we already know is going to be b dot uh, sorry change y direction. Now let's do the y. Uh, oh my change. So this is going to be ball x plus ball dot. Oh my god, that was a ball. I can't. I really can't type today. I don't know why. Ball dot size. It has to be bigger, it has to be, no, it has to be bigger than or equal to game dot width minus the width of the palette. Minus the width of the palette. And ball y plus, again, b dot, uh, uh, ball, sorry dot size I just remembered that size is a static function so up here we have to write ball for everything we need to write ball dot size is, is ball because it's it's the size of it's the is the static is the static um, variable I mean then bigger or equals to y and ball y is smaller than 
or equals to y plus height, of course. Now that is the end of the collision tests, and that is also the end of this video. No more collision tests. Now, next video, we're going to work on the um, user input. Thank you for listening. Uh, like and subscribe. Have a good day.